living cost or cost of living is actually whatever it is called like vampire and is biting hard in this video we are going to compare the cost of living crisis as it, we have it in nigeria and also in the uk do you want to believe that there are certain foods that are actually more affordable to buy from abroad i mean buy certain foods from london in the uk and take it down to places like lagos nigeria or anywhere in nigeria just for consumption is because the prices of foods in nigeria these days is now exorbitant and is actually more expensive and i would say unaffordable and that maybe it is worth buying food items from abroad rather than buying it in nigeria but not all the food items let's go into this video and check it out come with me but wow, this is quite surprising though in a food store like a convenience store otherwise call it like a store in nigeria here I can actually find Ola Ola. You know there are any stars that you normally eat in London? Ola Ola. This very one. You know how much the price is? Right here. It's 70,500 for how many kg? Just this one. Just about uh, uh, 5 kg of, of this uh, Ola Ola. Ola Ola. You know this Ola Ola? 17,500. Wow. Little wonder you see people cargo food, you know, from places like London. Uh, UK, uh, so part of Europe, to so Nigeria. You know, it's even affordable to buy food from abroad rather than buying it in Nigeria. Take for instance, this needle, this very one, this very one, this very uh, powder make, which is only 400 gram, is sold at 4,325 naira. Can you see that? But in London, it sold at only about three pound, if not three pound twenty. Three pound is only it's just about uh, two thousand naira if you compare it at the rate of seven fifty to Nigerian money, Nigerian naira. But here it's about four thousand three hundred twenty-five. If not, this is four thousand five hundred for four hundred gram of uh, powder made with needle. It's the most expensive one I can see. Do you have a semolina? Is it semol? This is a potato pounder yam. Okay. Pando yam. No. Pando yam. How much is this one? Uh, let me scan. Yeah, it's a new one. So it's a new one. So you got to scan it to know the price for this one. Pando yam. So we want to compare the price. This is a typical one in London here. Yeah. How much is this? How many kg is this? How many kg? We are 1.5 kg. So let's check the price. Yeah? We check it out there. Okay, now let's quickly compare this from a London shop. This London here. How much is the price? So what's the price? I've been scanning it. Yeah? 2.99. 3.99. That's almost four pounds for Inyo, this one. So you said this one is 3.99. Four pounds. Well, this is one of the um, the uh, cost cutters, so I'll call it that way. The convenience stores around on the high street. So, yam flour, yam flour, yam flour, yam flour, which is barely in you know, a meal of food, in your yam flour. This one, it puts 399 as well. And this is your 1.5 kg of uh, in your ilubo. So, let's continue to price more about the cost of foods. 
right here in London compared to how much they're selling in Naira. Thank you very much, boss. Uh, that's that's right, which is about the uh, less than one kg of fish in your instance. You know, you know, in your instance that people do, do eat in London, it's 3,500 here and 8,500 for the how many kg? Two, two and a half kg of it. There are some other variables, I mean, different types of them of uh, bamboo yam. But this is actually very surprising to me that this 5 kg of fignon, you know, this fignon is that very close to the pando yam we eat, 17,500 naira. Little wonder we hear that uh, a bread that is sold in London for about 1 pound 10 is being sold in Lagos at 7,500 naira. Things are really extraordinarily expensive in this Nigeria. I wonder how people do live, people to eat in this country. Look at this one, semolina. This semolina seems to be very cheaper now. This one, it's five thousand six hundred for this bag. I'd rather go for this other semolita, which is this one, six hundred and fifty uh, naira for semolita here, as you can see. Well, the fact is, in Nigeria, food are actually more expensive. It's no longer affordable for a lot of people unless, uh -huh. in fact, uh, it's very, very astonishing. Not only you are buying from supermarkets, even places that are not supermarkets, you see the price. Let's go and look for the price of other people. Semolina, Mama Goji, 5,000, 5,000 was 600. It really make sense there. It really didn't make sense. It's not easy, but people are trying their best to have something to buy, even though it can be very expensive. But what can we do? That's the situation now in the country. Oh, yeah, let's do comparison. It's like the other side of London. So, as you go around, we already. Uh, do I don't want to be this gun. I'm saying it now. Now, let's enter in the Optin Park Green Street Market. Yeah, at uh, Optin Park. Yeah, let's go down to where they're selling food stuff and make a price, price things. This is a fish market. A little bit. And uh, all other ingredients and foods. Chicken section, castle. Let's go. Roasted chicken, four pound forty nine each. How much is it? How much is it? Beef. Okay. Is it per kilo this one? Roasted chicken. How much is it? Four four forty nine. How much is this one? Four. A kilo is four pound forty nine. This chicken is two. The whole chicken two for five pound. Can you compare it to what you buy chicken in Nigeria? This one. The price. Two the, of that whole chicken is sold at five pan. Five pan, you know how much is it? So when we convert the rate, you realize that it's even more cheaper to buy chicken in London here than buying it even in Nigeria. Can you see that? For two pan. No, is that is that the price for it? How much is it? Oh yeah, tell me how much you want to buy. One twenty each, brother. And it's around, it's around. Oh, okay, How much is that? Oh, look at that. You see, we are trying to compare how the price of goods. Mm, let me see this. You see, this head, can you see this? This, uh, what type of fish is this? Micro fish. See how handy it is. And it costs two of the, it costs only one pound. That's about 800 naira or 700 naira. So to say, let's say, let's say, naira. Now we got two two of these for two pounds. Can you now see that? It's even more cheaper to buy food in London than Nigeria. Can you buy it? In Nigeria, this one will be sold for about 1,000 to or 1,500 naira. If someone can access to that, if you go to nearby markets around Nigeria. But here in the UK, you find it even more cheaper. So that is the lead high cost of living as it's biting right now. Can you see that? Okay, let's move forward and continue and buy or uh, get to uh, price other things in the markets. The supervisor is here with us. He's doing his own shopping right here in the city of London, up to Park. So, what do you say about the what you buy? What yeah, I just bought um, 
that for me? That's uh, fish. That's a plantain. I bought it. Four for one pound. This plantain. Four of this. Four, four of this plantain for, for, for one pan. And uh, what else? Cherry, tomato, oh, cooking soup. Cherry, tomato. This is like, how much is this? One pound. Let's have one a look. Let's have a look. I'll show you on the market with one This is about one pan. Okay. Uh, show us more things. Yeah, more stuff. That's a grape. A oh, grape. grape. Just a grape. Let's have a little taste. Is it green or blue or yeah. white grape? White I'm, grape. Just, I'm only asking you. <laughs> and red pepper. It's nice. A red pepper, five dollars for one pound. This one costs one pound, and one pound is about seven hundred naira. Mm. Do you know in Nigeria? Can you buy this eight hundred or seven hundred naira in Nigeria? It's really much. It costs actually more than that. So that is the situation. That is the high cost of living we are talking about. Yeah, let's do comparison. This one's a Mofita, it's sold at 650 naira. But this 5 kg of the uh, semolina here, this is 10 kg, it's actually 10 kg, is 5610 naira, you know, from the chef here. Yeah. So, the choice is this is Andy, very small. <laughs> How many grams? It's only one. One gram, well, one, 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 one kg. It's actually one kg, but I don't think uh, uh, it's worth buying. This is worth buying. 5,600, I might go to maybe what I have to uh, go for. Pick me. They are doing some discounting at this time. Evaporated meat. So a little wonder you see people cargo food, you know, from places like London, uh, UK, uh, some part of Europe to Nigeria. You know, it's even affordable to buy food from abroad rather than buying it in Nigeria. Take for instance, this needle. This very one, this very one, this very uh, powder make, which is only 400 gram, is sold at 4,325 naira. The cost of living crisis is everywhere. We go to Nigeria, we find out how things are really rather more expensive. We even go to a particular place in, in Nigeria, in Ibaran City, where people believe the cost of living may be moderate, as prices of food might be moderate, may not be expensive. But the feeling is that everybody complains about the rising cost of living, both in abroad and at home. So it's everywhere. Recently, Nigeria has been facing the problem of uh, supply of fuel. Especially diesel. The pump price of diesel per liter costs about between 900 naira and 1000 naira. And that has actually led to an increase in the price of foods in the market. We also understand the global crisis, especially caused by the Russia Ukraine conflict, that has led to the increase in the pump price of fuel. Third, everywhere around the world. Check this out, the cost of price. I'm actually standing at the first station here in London. And let's see what uh, the pump says. Now let's check from this one. It says 191 per pence. That's the cost now at the moment. So I'm going to fill at that price. So we're checking the price now. You can see that, you got it out. So I'm buying like, um. Let's put that, I'm buying like uh, 20 liters and see the price of it. 20 liters, you know how much is it? Uh, I'll stop at 20 liters, it's 35 pounds of the vine petrol right here now. So that is it now, I just paid 35 pounds and the kills just for buying just about 20 liters of liters. You see, that is it, extraordinarily. So that is it now. I just paid uh, 35 pounds just for 20 liters. You know, the also in Nigeria, the fuel pump price stands between.
between 190 to 200 naira. So let's put it out about 200 naira is because some some people do sell it at 200 naira per liter. So if I buy that 20 liters in Nigeria for 200 naira, that would cost me just 4,000 naira here. I'm spending 35 pounds, you know, to convert that five pounds to naira is a lot of money indeed. Let's put that way. That should, the figure should be about uh, close house on there. Like, oh, oh. The exact calculation I'm going to give you on the, on the screen for you. So, the, the rising cost is actually biting out on both sides because some commodities are affordable, some are not. Are actually skyrocketing. The price are actually going up, up, and up. So, that's the way it is right here. It's all across the world, across the globe, all over the world. But living is really, seriously biting hard. Um, individuals, they care about what their budget looks like and being able to afford their shopping and heating bills. Um, they don't necessarily care about what the Bank of England governor is saying. So with that discontent driving strike, uh, ballots for strikes and, and, and so forth, and you know, causing problems in terms of industrial relations and... Hence to this cost of living crisis, is not known as it affects virtually other things. We continue to sustain and survive. So a little wonder you see people cargo food, you know, from places like London, uh, UK, uh, some part of Europe to Nigeria. You know, it's even affordable to buy food from abroad rather than buying it. Buying food from abroad and selling it down from here to Nigeria. What did it to eat? You know that house food, uh, house, uh, even some household materials as well, as well as food in it. They buy it from abroad, it's much cheaper, and they can have it to cargo it down to places in the uh, to Nigeria, which things have become more in honor for so many people. Please kindly like this video and share to others. Let me know if you find this video useful by clicking the like button, thumb up, so other people can get to watch it. Thank you for being here and subscribe if you haven't done so. And don't forget to watch all our other videos.